Man, you know what I hate. And and hate is a strong word. They shouldn't even really use it. But I hate the overly uh, religious Christians who try to force it on their everybody. You know what I'm saying? And every waking sentence that they that they say. Right? Case of point. So I was on my uh, Instagram, and y'all know the other day, I just got cu- full custody of my son. You know? Y'all gonna hear me say that a million times because... It should be said, there's a lot of fathers out there fighting to get their kids, and we need to hear the success stories, or we need to see the people who are successful in doing that be adamant about saying it. So I say it. Ain't nobody going to stop me. It is what it is. You don't like it? Get on somewhere. Anyway, so on the post that I made, I was crying. I I was in, was in, you know, relishing the moment of, you know, hearing the good news. You know, so I was I, I I set the camera up, I put it up and, um, you know, just was going throughout my day. And I sat down at this point and I was going through it. I, the emotions, the emotions got the best of me. So I cried, you know, and these are tears of joy. It's, and then I look up, I clap and I'm thanking God. That's what I'm doing. You know, and the caption, I'm saying stuff like, you know, I, I never um, felt like I was worth it. I never felt like I was enough to for my son to even be his dad. And that's because I was homeless, down bad, not being a man, not taking care of my responsibilities. This is stuff that had nothing, had, had nothing to do with him. This is all on me, right? So now to be in a position now where I have him full custody, he lives in my house with me, you know, it's a, it's a great feeling. So the, the feeling over, I got overwhelmed. It overcame with joy, you know what I'm saying? So in the comments... A lady, super, super Christian, she says, make sure you give Jesus all the glory. He helped to make this happen. Uh, Who said he didn't? Who are you to tell me what to make sure to do? Why didn't you just say congratulations? These are things that I, I see with Christians all the time. They'll forget what the situation is. They just bring God straight up. You know what I'm saying? And they never know who they talking to when they do it person you about to sell, make sure Jesus, you give Jesus all the credit, probably no more than you do about God. But they want to keep this image up like they just so holier than thou and really not. You know, those are the ones I stay away from. So, but I had to respond to that. I didn't, but I did. I'm going to get better at it one day. I won't be responding to dummies like this. But I feel like I had to, had to eat up one time, right? So I say, who you think I'm looking up and thanking? The wall? Instead of congratulating, you choose to tell me who I should thank as if I'm not knowing of the higher power that lives in me and through me. I know that took a full spin. I know it did. That's what I'm thinking in my mind. Like, yo, you, you're going to leave me alone after this one because I clearly know who is the reason why this is all happening. You know what I'm saying? But no, no. But before she responds again, I had to also say to, you know, correct her even more. And he didn't help me make this happen. He's the sole reason why this is happening. You know what I'm saying? He's the sole reason why this happened. It's it's different. He didn't help me. He is the reason why it happened. You know, just give him more. Leave me alone. You don't know who you're talking to, man. I'm very spiritual in, in my stuff. I might not believe in the same uh, every every same belief as you know a lot of people we all got different religions we li- we believe in I don't have I wouldn't say I just believe in a religion I just believe in the higher power and the connection that I have with them I believe in God and the power that I have with them that you know in the in the connection that we got that's what I believe you know so but of course we got the super overly Christian she got to come back with a response because you can't just say, okay, you right, congratulations, have a great day. You have to say, you did not mention Jesus in your message once, in you message once, not your, I said your, that, that's the right thing to say. But she said, you did not mention Jesus in you message once, but I am glad you received the blessing and you thank God. Only he knows your heart. May your relationship with your son continue to be blessed for his glory. Take care. Yo, just shut up, man. Just shut up, man. 
I don't have to mention Jesus in a caption or an Instagram post. Me and his connection is so much more than that. And that's where me and the overly pushing, aggressive Christians that try to force it on everybody, this is where we part ways. This is where we part ways. Because you don't know who you're talking to and you're trying to put, and you think you can regulate what somebody says and pertain, pertaining to their success. And if you, if, if you don't see them giving the, the, um, the credit to, to the one above, they, they, they never gave them the credit because you didn't see it. It's the dumbest thing in the world. Like, so I had to respond, right? I, I just had to respond. You know what I'm saying? Because don't give me this, but I'm glad you received the and all that. Don't give me all of that. Don't give me all of that. We're going to focus on you. You didn't put Jesus in your message one time. So? So? So this is so what I say in response is, I don't have to mention Jesus for your approval of my message when he knows my heart and knows before I got on camera, I got down on my knees and gave all my thanks to him. It isn't your place to tell me where or who to give my thanks to uh, to when you don't even know anything about me. I'm fuck, I fucked that up. <laughs> Again, who you think I was looking up to saying thank you to? The ceiling? Please get the overly forcing fake Christian vibes off my page. The only place you have here is, is to congratulate. Nothing more, nothing less. And she said, okay, sir. That should have been your first response to my first response. Just okay, sir. <coughs> But now you got me got now I got to school you because you don't know who you're talking to. You're probably talking to somebody who's more spiritual than you are. Just because people go to church, see, them, them be the people that I bet you feel like you go to church every Sunday that you just automatically make it into heaven. Or, or you know what I'm saying? You just automatically, you know, all good come to you because you go to church. Like, no, it's so much more than that. It's so much more than whatever she tried to regulate in this little this little post. You don't know. We all got personal connections. The fact that she even say, only he knows your heart, speaks a lot. Yeah, he does know my heart. So why are you speaking on what's in my heart, on what I said or didn't say? Why are you speaking on that when he he knows my heart? You don't get to tell me who to make. I got to make sure I give somebody something. You, I don't know you. I make sure I do all of that before I even get on camera. You understand what I'm saying? So I, I just I just never like the overly forcing aggressive Christians that try to just be oh don't don't forget to don't forget to praise Jesus he the one helped you out you couldn't do this without him I know why are you telling me that I don't need you to who are you live your life I'll live mine and hopefully both of our lives be abundant but I'm sure mine is going to be because I'm not trying to downplay people's success because that's what you try to do is downplay my success because I didn't say Jesus in the y'all get the message man tell me what y'all think about that man I don't rock with that type of shit you can't do that to me I'm gonna tell you off every time it's gonna be a point in my, in my life where I get off of that and I ain't even gonna be talking to dummies like that it ain't today though Stay safe, stay easy, stay protected, get the folk out the circle that ain't supposed to be there. Easier said than done, but it's definitely doable. I'm out. Yeah.